All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back. Like I said, I had to get some of my setup equipment repaired, so I'm sorry about no streams the past two days. Shit's just not been working out lately. <laughs> okay, let's let's finally go meet. Shut up! Take me to my penthouse. Next stop, let's go meet Elsiano. I have missed this. All right. What do we have? What have you found? It's strange. When you walk through that door, I half expected to see Belinda. Belinda and I practically shared a life. Losing her feels like losing a limb. She's conspicuous by her absence. Uh, do you need a minute? I'm sorry, this must be difficult. Yeah. We shut down Ludovico's distillation plant, but he's not gonna sit idly by. Of course not. If you can't use Spectrum Brown to infect the colony, I'll resort to some kind of backup plan. I stole this formula from Dr. Blossom, a failed prototype of Spectrum Brown. Look at this. The prototype had the opposite effect, and actually made you immune to the parasites. Really? Okay, so your immune system could destroy the parasites before the larva stage. Read the formula. And also slightly depressed instead of incredibly happy. This is Halcyon. Everyone's already miserable. A little more despair isn't going to make a difference. Yeah, it might We're going to need to two ingredients. Kill themselves. A sample of essence of Sprat and one intact pod of parasite eggs. Cedric's warehouse in the Piraeus spaceport almost certainly carries a batch of Sprat essence. As for the pod, I'd check the wilderness reserve if I were you. Okay. Uh... You mean Sprat... Sprat nucleus? Uh, I should be able to synthesize an effect as ant, uh, anti-parasitic. Well, I'm glad one of us is an expert. Most of what I know is based on Dr. Blossom's notes. Here's what I understand. Sprats have an adaptive immune system. They don't suffer from the diseases and parasites they carry. It's one reason why you'll see them in every corner of the colony. Yeah. Dr. Blossom experimented with sprats and accidentally discovered a way to become immune to the parasites. That's probably when she decided to switch to human testing. Okay. You're a scientist and an inspector? You really are full of surprises. I borrowed a centrifuge from the research lab. Used the ingredients to synthesize an antiparasitic. Sweet. Easy enough. I'm glad I could count on your expertise. Once you're finished, head to the pilot house. We'll hijack the control system and disperse the cure into the atmosphere. That should kill off most of the parasites. Uh, persuade, not so fast. Let me borrow your needler. Yes! Are you worried I'm gonna shoot you in the back? Uh, pretty much handed over. I'm already doing all the work I deserve to feel like an Aether Wave hero. You're right. You do deserve the spotlight. Here. You take good care of my needler, and it'll take good care of you. Okay. Sweet. There is one other thing. While you're at Piraeus Spaceport, have a word with Cedric Kincannon. I know Cedric. There's nothing he wants more than a chance to eliminate Ludovico. We could use him on our side. Best of luck, Inspector. I'm counting on you. Alright, uh, well... I like your style murdering anybody you want in the name of revenge. <laughs> uh, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, and that worries me a little. Leora Blossom and Maria Keen were on Ludovico's side. They chose to stand between me and my sister's killer. I had to cross them off. What exactly happened between you and Constable Keen? Would you believe me if I said I gave the constable a chance? I spoke to her in her office. I told her everything. Belinda, Ludovico, the parasites, all of it. Maria said I was guilty of corporate sabotage and that she had a duty to report me. She told me how sorry she was, and I told her the same thing. And then I shot her. Maria was defending my sister's killer. If someone murdered one of your crew in cold blood, what would you do? How was that corporate... Sabotage? Uh, I don't have any crew. They're literally all in the same apartment with me. <laughs> that would be a dumbass lie. I've never really needed a reason to go on a murderous rampage. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Oh, God. So you do understand. Was there anything else? Um. No, nah, not right now. Okay, so I'm going to equip that gun. Use a, okay, turn. But what's the effect? Corrosion. Ooh. Versus. Oh, wow. That's not a lot. Okay, whatever. I, w I don't know if I need that, uh, the detective thing anymore, so maybe I'll switch it up. Shut up. I am going outside. Wait a minute. Back. Alright, so we need to go. What, where is this? Let's go to the spaceport first, if we can. Where is it? Oh, this is not going to take me inside. That's dumb, but okay. Yeah. The, the moment I saw the optional objective, recruit uh, Cedric, I was going to do it. <laughs> I was going to do it, because why not? Why wouldn't you? You basically have your own personal army here at that point. Oh, textures, how much I love you. In we go. Okay, here we are. They got the drop on us. I can't hear you oh, no, okay. They're infected. I can't hear you trying to infect me with your Cedric might be dead. Okay, that was chaotic, intense. Let's go see if Cedric's alive. Yeah, they're both in there. They seem like they might be whole up in there. We'll need to deal with anyone else out here. In we go. Oh, that. Okay, hi. That was quick. Here we go. Why did I get that decreased? He was infected. He tried to kill me. Cedric, you good? Inspector, you made it. Well done. I'm afraid you may find the spaceport is, at the moment, less hospitable than usual. My apologies. You're good. Regardless, you must have some purpose here. Do tell. Uh, what happened? Whew. Whatever it was, it happened quickly. Like a wave sweeping across the shore. We were overrun. Survivors are still trickling in. We've put out a call to slug agents not at the docks to keep their distance. With the warehouse's stores, Slug could hold out here for weeks, easily. Possibly months. Uh... With Helen, you don't say. Yeah, it's a longer story than, than we have time for. You flatter me, but no, of course not. Knowing implies certainty. I merely suspect it. Of course. This anti-parasitic, it would restore my people to their original, non-infected selves? Safely? Uh, yes, well, probably. 
It's the best chance we have. Uh, would you rather I leave them uh, as mind-controlled slug puppets? Uh, if I wanted them dead, I would skip the antiparasitic and just use a bullet. Well, I'll take my people's probable cure over their guaranteed death. Coincidentally enough, Slug can supply you with Essence of Sprat. Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman, you remember her. There's a package on the desk in her office. You'll find the Essence of Sprat you need in there. Okay, thanks. Uh, who ordered that anyway? That's incredibly fortunate. Hold on, you told me you didn't believe, uh, you didn't believe in coincidence. You're right. I don't. Now then, is there anything else I can do for you while you're here? Yeah, you want to go on a warpath right quick? Oh, my. You mean Lou was up to no good this whole time? Yeah. Uh, it gets worse. You can infect the whole colony with slugs. Uh, can you be smug later, please? I thought he was just an asshole. Turns out he's an evil asshole. Are you going to help me? It's an ambitious plan. I'll give him that. But tell me... Why should I help you, Inspector? Oh, because you've been waiting to kick his ass literally since we started. You're joking. Because I'm the Sprat fucking Inspector, damn it! Could I encourage you to pause and take a deep breath? I can see this has all been very stressful for you. You can expect Slug's support. I'll arrange for my agents to meet you at the distillation station. Thank you. Much appreciated. Tell them to bring their best weapons and any personal issues they'd like to work out through violence. Holy shit! I'll do that. I think one of our checkpoint guards is going through a divorce. As Damn. thrilled as I am to assist you in taking down Lou, we have barricaded ourselves in here for a reason. I imagine you have a plan for getting out of the spaceport safely? Are you really? Inspector, you are a marvel. Excellent work. I'll admit, I'm awfully fond of my agents. To see them restored will be a great weight off my soul. Thank you. No problem. Well, what's up here? Inspector, you're alive. That's terrific. How you feeling? Uh, how you holding up? I can't complain. Still slug free. That is, I'm still slug, obviously, but I haven't been slugged. You know what I mean. I do. You need what? Why? No kidding. I should have known you'd be on top of things. That must be what's on my desk. We just got it in. Couldn't find it on any of our shipping orders, and none of us could figure out what in Law's name it was. You're welcome to it. Just so you know, it... Uh, it's got a bit of a weird smell. Alright, stay safe. You too, Inspector. Ugh, Essence of Sprat? Why would anybody keep a vial of... Never mind, I don't want to know. Yeah, why would you? I mean, and besides, if it attracts sprats and I get to be basically the space rat king for a little bit and lead an army of fucking space rats against a bunch of ar an army of slugs, I'm here for it. I'm waiting for it. Let's do it. Let's lead a rat rebellion, shall we? Get in here. See, it's already starting. I can hear. Okay, keep quiet. Uh, anything else? Wait, what's this? I don't know what that did. we go wait where do we where do we need to go before I do that 
can't fast travel from in here because I'm like two loading screens deep. Okay, out we go. Now, can I fast travel from here? Please tell me I can. Unless the map doesn't load. There we go. Okay. This doesn't look ominous at all. Oh yeah, and another loading screen. <laughs> okay. Are they infected at all? No, they don't leave this place actually, so no. Um, okay, so that does make sense as to why why there was all this stuff back here that I went through and killed my way through. This does go up, right? from here. It's got to be a way out. That way, maybe? I mean, I can always come back and go back the way I came in, but what's the sense of that if I might not have to take a loading screen? This might work. down by the freezing come on I didn't mean to do that what is keeping me sl there we go all the effects are gone this is weird I need to repair one of my weapons I wonder what they use this bunker for. Ah, no clue. Here they come! Uh oh. Oh no. surrounded okay Oh 
Okay. Not bad, huh? Who is... Hello? What is this? Another soul willing to brave the dangers of the wilderness? How thrilling to find my paramour out here in the wilds. Virgil Henderson, at your service. Board surprise auditor and fifth finest shot this side of Halcyon. Delighted to meet you. Uh, not much out here unless you're preparing to go, uh, go through uh, the finances of local canids. Uh, are you a hotel guest? Guards, don't make me laugh. How could I conduct surprise audits with an entourage of companions? I considered establishing a base of operations at the hotel, but feared someone would spot me. Discretion is extremely important for one such as myself. I'm here to conduct a surprise audit of the local holy caves, Rizzo's lone leased property in the reserve. It is rather notedly empty. Worse, it seems the evacuation occurred without anyone filing the proper emergency paperwork. Tut tut. Right, uh, there hasn't been any Rizzo's personnel in the caves. How are you doing an audit of them? The bunker was evacuated forever ago. You're years late. That's why it's a surprise. With all this in mind, there is a small issue. I actually conducted an investigation of this facility several years ago. Since my biometric data might still be registered, it's possible that my entering the facility would not be legally classified a surprise. It's a puzzle, to be sure. Uh... I may be a dashing, gunslinging space auditor, but even I know better than to question protocol. The more order there is, the less suffering. It's basic science. Suffice it to say, it doesn't behoove one of Halcyon's most prolific auditors to try to bend the rules when he thinks no one's looking. Because, my friend, someone's always looking. Right. Hmm. An uncertain suggestion. There are no shortage of legal loopholes for freelance work, but I fear setting my work on the shoulders of someone I've never met before. I may be able to hire you, but let me ask you a question to see if you're fit to represent me first. Sure. How much do you know about free market economics? Intimidate. The free market is only free because I haven't killed everyone in it. Oh my god! Hmm, that's a sufficient amount of market knowledge indeed. I knew you were the right person for the job. Head into the holy caves and see what you can find. Keep your eyes open for journals, terminals, data pads, anything that might contain info about the operation. I'm counting on you! Right, okay. So the centrifuge is actually, is it in, is it in the top floor? Journal. Uh, centrifuge from, oh, from the labs. Oh no, she stole it from the labs. It's in the penthouse, okay. What, for once I can go directly there without any problems? Okay, let's get her done. Uh, okay, what's this label say? Uh, no training required. Uh, uh, has been designed for unschooled worker in certain ingredients and just push a button and watch it spin. What am I, a child? Dexterity. Peel back the label. Uh, you see is another small label that reads, uh, discontinued model. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Press that egg, sink into the concoction, sizzling. You activate the sensor fuge. There we go. Wait, okay, I didn't need to just pull it out. 
Disperse the cure. Where am I going for that? Over here. Up. Oh. Screw it. Screw it. What floor would you take me outside? Okay, we're just gonna run, cause why not? Hotel seems abandoned. Let's keep away from those infected. Hey, Inspector. Uh, is there a workbench anywhere? I forgot I need to repair something. Nope, should have did it in the uh, in the apartment. I think there's a workbench up here though. into the ether. That doesn't look good. Oh, no. They're not infected. They're not infected, but the parasite are. What's the status? Reactor stable. Compound dispersal may commence. Sweet. Affirmative. Dispersing. What have you done? What in law's name have you done? You hijacked our atmosphere. Are you trying to kill us all? No. You're trying to kill my symbiotes. I'm not going to let you destroy everything I've built. I can still fix this. I can undo the damage you've done. End of transmission. Okay. Was that it? to the distillery now. Where is he? Not too far, okay. Literally just across a bridge, I think.
surprised this isn't surrounded by enemies. Never mind, that's going way too soon. Now this is the correct door. Okay, we're gonna clear this out. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for this. Storing down here. Were they getting ready for the launch of Spectrum Brown? This place really could use a decent engineer. Are they growing parasites in those tanks? Here they come! Don't do it, bro!
just realized my mic is on. That's funny. Really? Didn't I? No. not, sir? Is there anything I can do to get rid of that? No. Nobody likes these parasites one bit. It's closed. Hope you're not afraid of heights. And up again we go. Never down. Never mind. Then we picked up a piece of armor. Did I just disintegrate somebody? That 
is horrific. I don't even know what that is, but it's horrific. Hey, Captain. Whatever happens, I just want you to know. I've always got your back. Love you too, Pravati. Oh, God, that's a lot of ammo to have. I don't like what's about to happen. Yes, I know you're hungry. Be patient. I'll feed you soon enough. Just a guest. The one I told you about. The inspector. Welcome! We were just talking about you. Oh, dear God. There's something behind you or something. You and I are standing in the presence of royalty. Don't worry. You'll meet her soon enough. Oh, God. I know what you've done. Hijacked Phaeton. Contaminated the air we breathe with your poison. You think you've saved this colony? All you've done is robbed Halcyon of its last chance at real happiness. And you've angered my queen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, what exactly is going on here? I'm not listening to your crackpot rambling. Uh, turn to your companions. Am I the only one tired of listening to this guy? Hold up your hand. Uh, I know you're about to start a monologue. I don't care. Nope. Not even a little. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to feed you to the queen, and then I'm going to find a way to repair the damage you've done. Don't be afraid. She can smell fear, and it makes her absolutely ravenous. Your Highness! Dinner is served. Wait, no, not me. Them! Merciful Law! Stop! <laughs> Does this do something? I don't know what that Here did. But it's doing something. I can't do that. Mr. Ludovico? Mr. Ludovico, sir! Is there any chance you're still alive inside the Queen's digestive tract? Oh my lord. Wait! No! That's his leg on the ground over there. Okay, well, um, this is interesting. Mr. Ludovico never signed my release, so I'm contractually obligated to stay by my post. Assistant Harwell, confectioner and munitions department. How may I be of assistance? Um... Oh, yes, that'll happen. Negative emotions trigger the Queen's appetite. Mr. Ludovico must have been pretty terrified. Technically speaking, she is the brood mother of a species of vermiform parasites native to Eridanums. I know. We've been using them as additives in Spectrum Brown. I also know. Mr. Ludovico installed some emergency defensive countermeasures in the event of an unplanned feeding episode. But I'll need his permission before I can activate those countermeasures. Um. Oh, that's impossible. All my unpleasant emotional states have been permanently eliminated, but I appreciate the intent behind your threat. Emergency defense system activated. Thank you for minding the flames. Happy customers are repeat customers. Okay, so does that help me?
This is actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Oh. They won't try that again. You have selected regicide. I love that. It's just bones. It's all bones. Alright, what was Nova Burst and how good is it? Ooh. It is better than that. Nope. Okay. Oh, I could have made my way over here and did other things with the consoles. Or maybe not. Maybe it's unneeded now that it's all dead. nice but I'll switch to keep my armor on anything in here can't go through there didn't mean to pick up the heavy machine gun I guess happy customers really are repeat customers. Here, I had something I wanted to give you. This is a golden ticket. Good for one free tour of the Purpleberry Orchards. This is my way of showing you that I appreciate you just for being alive. Thank you? Um... Okay. Those things still creep me out. How do I get out of here? Okay. I guess out we go. Okay. Where are we headed? Yeah. Wait, set. I can't fast travel anymore. Where am I? Oh, my God. 
overweight for? I didn't mean to repair that. I meant to... Ludovico's dead, everybody's okay. I just gotta wrap it up with everyone. So it was Helen, Cedric, and then leave, I guess. They're both on the plat. Okay. Ugh, the texture's just dipped. Something's going on. There we go. I must have dreamed up a hundred different ways to kill Ludovico. I'll be honest, eaten alive by the queen of the brain slugs wasn't on that list. I mean, it happens. Is that so strange? I imagine this moment would be a little more cathartic. But Belinda's still gone, and I don't feel all that different. <sighs> Give it time. You know what you need? A nice car. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge won't bring back your sister. Save the drama for the next serial. Uh, I didn't help you because I like you. I, uh, you're still a murderer. I can't go back to the way things were. I can't return to my old life because it was never my life to begin with. It was shared. <sighs> never mind, you don't need to listen to this. Thank you again for your help, Captain. I never would have made it this far without you. All in a day's work. Or however technically long we've been here. We'll be awfully busy with the administrator gone. Lots to do. That's all he had to say? Thank you, Ada. Or shall I call you Inspector? What can I do for you? I'm not Inspector anymore. I finished the Aerodonos job. During your absence, I passed the time by simulating a number of hypothetical conclusions to this case. Oh, what'd you get? Unfortunately, my understanding of the facts is limited, and my appraisal of the individuals involved is not flattering. Therefore, my conclusions are inaccurate. <laughs> you sound like you missed me, Ada. Um, I can tell you what happened if you liked. Humor me, who do you think killed Helsky on Helen? My simulations have yielded several possible causes of death. Helsky on Helen may have been killed by one or all of the following. Asphyxiating on Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. Grappling with a primal while inebriated. Killed by an overzealous fan. Death by auto-mechanical. Or profound, profound loneliness. loneliness. How close were my estimations? Oh, far off. Uh, 
Well, and I'll just tell you what happened. Please, do so. Uh, the real killer? It's complicated. Let's just say he'll... Administrator Ludovico killed Halcyon Helen? They have been programmed to simulate contempt and mild surprise. Mr. <laughs> Ludovico had the audacity to hire you to solve a murder he committed? I am contemptuous and mildly surprised. This information is valuable to me. I will update my behavior simulation protocol accordingly. Thank you, Captain. Oh, no problem. How can I be of assistance? May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. <laughs> okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, that's the end of Murder on Eridanos. It was a great DLC. Both of them were actually really good. Um, I gotta say, this one was a better mystery, I guess. Well, it was specifically designed for it, but Gorgon was cool. It was a cool mystery. They probably got, like, a bunch of detective fiction writers to write both of them. I don't know. But if we get another one, we're gonna see it, see it, play it. I hope we get another one, but probably not. Otherwise, I will see you all next week with Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm.